my lovely people, how are you? I'm a bit flat today. I'm a bit flat and I'm going for a lunch. I'm forcing myself. I shouldn't be forcing myself to go and see my friends, should I? Um, but my friend's daughter is 19 and uh, we're going to go out for lunch and I'm going to put on a face. Definitely going to put on a face because I need it. I need my makeup warrior kit today. So I thought I would sit and do that with you today and kind of create a very kind of like soft, warmy, bronzy look. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit brighter than it is now. Um, but we shall see. Okay, I hope you are all well. Um, and I think I threw myself into the summer sun, <laughs> went overboard. Um, it was so lovely just to have a burst of sunshine. It actually felt like we were on holiday, but kind of working and schooling and doing all of that. blah de blah de blah Anyway, right. First things first, skincare. I haven't got anything on my skin because I want to talk to you about this brand new brand that have partnered with me today and it's called iRay. The reason why I've chosen to work with this brand is because I am fascinated on the technology and I wanted to talk to you about it. Also for the fact that it is founded by a plastic surgeon and a dermatologist and it's incredibly sustainable. This is the three um, sort of three phase summer skin mini travel kit that they've put together which is what I wanted to show you because I thought that would be really interesting um, and useful to have three products that you can use over the summer to really um, refine your skin because this product is the world's first skincare product to support the lymphatic drainage of your skin so the kind of very kind of like dermal surface layer of your skin, this product actually helps to kind of drain any kind of excess puffiness from your skin. Now for transparency, I have been using these products for about two weeks, just over two weeks. Um, the clinical results, which are super high, um, uh, in the 90s, but that's over 28 days. But how incredible, you can actually apply skincare now that really affects the tension and the tightness of your skin so if you're someone who wakes up with puffy skin um, or puffy eye or puffy around the eyes or you just hold on to a lot of water, you might find this interesting. So check out the website because there's lots of interesting information on there. So let's start with the serum first. It's called Radiance Firming Serum and look at the bottles. So they're all refillable um, and obviously much cheaper once you just buy the refill, which is great. Um, so the um, serum contains lots and lots of great vitamin C, which hasn't irritated my skin at all, and on my neck. Um, also, bioretinol. Now, bioretinol is fantastic because it doesn't irritate your skin in the sun. And I'm definitely one of those people that stops using retinol um, when I go on holiday or when I'm exposing my skin, oh, it's very nice, um, to extra sunlight. So you don't have to stop with a kind of brightening effect products on your skin. You have to stop putting them on just because you've got sun exposure. So the serum is really, really lovely, feels very silky. And when I say that it tightens your skin, one of my pet hates in skincare is products that say they tighten. And then you're like, oh, oh, get it off my face. If you ever experienced that before, it's really annoying, isn't it? And it doesn't feel pleasurable. Who wants their skin to feel like that? You don't feel like that. You can feel that it's nice and sort of tacky under the skin. The eye cream, which I always tend to apply over my moisturiser, I don't know if there's a rule with that or not, I always prefer to apply it after my moisturiser because I like the way it sits in the makeup. Um, so I'll do that second. So now we're going to go in with the cream and the consistency is less fluid than the serum, um, but it's really, really lovely. You only need one pump. One pump goes a long way. Um, that's all you need to use that lovely or to feel that lovely slip all over your face. And you use all three products, morning and evening, and then you get the balance of everything that you need. So the active ingredient, Lymph Active, um, is a patent pending at the moment. Um, and this is the product that kind of supports that sort of top layer of lymph drainage giving you that more refined and sculpted finish to your face 
Um, it's really fascinating and I do, if you're interested um, in new skincare tech and science, please check out the website because um, I found it really, really interesting. And lastly, we'll finish off with the um, Deep Tox Eye Revive Cream, which again, I just only use one pump. Let me just get my mirror. And I just like to just push it very gently on that area. And it's cooling, it contains caffeine, which is a wonderful stimulant um, to have in an eye cream, especially if you feel tired or your eyes feel puffy or you just want a little bit of um, a kind of a hit of energy around your eyes, you know? I always just tend to use, that was one pump and it's way too much, so you almost just need half a pump. I'm just gonna put that around my top lip just over my lips because I don't want to waste any any ounce of this lovely formula. Um, it's got a triple hyaluronic complex in it too so it's great for skins like mine which are on the dry side because um, it creates that lovely kind of bounce. 20 years of research has gone into this brand so it's definitely worth a look. Anyway let's put on a little bit of SPF over the top and then we're ready to go. Really shouldn't speak when I apply SPF because it goes in my mouth. Yeah. Put a little bit of water in a minute and just press that in. Right, what goodies have we got today? Well, there's a couple of lovely products that have come through from Sicily um, as I just use that now. Oh, look at this gorgeous, gorgeous compact. Um, that lovely kind of moulding. Um, and it's slightly creamier and richer and slightly shinier than maybe the uh, Beauty Pie bronzer that I've been showing you. So I wanted to show you how that would work. I'm going to start my skin with another brand, et al. Um, this is another lovely brand that is completely natural, vegan, packed with beautiful things um, for your skin. Um, they've really, really focused, just like um, the refillable um, skincare creams, their foundations have got these kind of like inner airless bags that the foundation sat in. They've taken and they've worked tirelessly at all their packaging. It is so expensive and so hard to make sure that everything is recyclable and sustainable um, when you actually go into these companies and understand the process. Um, you've got to respect them for that because they're really trying to do good by us as in creating lots of colour cosmetics that are great for our skin, will improve our skin and also great for the environment. Um, but yes, I'm going to use two colours here um, and this shade is 20, 120C. Now my hands are all lovely and soft and um, slippery, I couldn't get that off. So let's place that all around my chin, it's a really really great shade. Um, and what I love about this brand, as in sort of first impressions, is that um, a little bit goes a long way. I've got a mosquito bite here, really annoying. Um, and often you find that when you're using a lot of natural um, brands that sometimes the finish um, isn't very heavy um, and it's all quite light, which definitely has its place and we know that. Um, but this I really, really like because it's got lots of coverage, as does the foundation, but I just, because I was sort of choosing um, Iray for like travelling I think when you're going abroad or just going to see a friend or away for the weekend, it's just quite nice to have products that um, fit into your bag and you can just shove on your face without too much faff. So that's why I went for the concealers. Actually, in my head, I was going to do like a little travel bag, um, like what makeup you could take away um, with you that's kind of just nice and easy and not too messy. Because like if I'm putting makeup on, on an aeroplane, so if I've got a really early start in maybe... Paris or something like that. I won't bother putting any makeup on when I get out of bed at half four in the morning. I will um, just do it as we arrive into Garden Ore, for instance. And obviously I put sanitizer on my hand, which I love, my Willada one. If anyone's got any great sanitizers, sprays, let me know. I use the Willada one, which I, I love. Um, and then I put my makeup on, but I still don't really feel cl real clean. So I like to have um, applicators to put it on. Anyway, um, we're gonna go in with the Etal brush, um, which is their no idea. It's their buffing foundation brush. <laughs> um, and just to push that into my skin. But what a lovely match, hey? And it feels really nice. 
on my skin and it's covered up pigmentation I don't really have to buff it too much but what I do need is shape so let's go in with the lighter colour and the one that I selected was 20N so I'm actually going to take off as much as I can from that because I don't want too much around my eyes for obvious reasons and if they're not obvious to you it means you don't need too much around your eyes you just want to basically give yourself a bit of shape but you don't want the product to kind of sit um, within the lines because eventually that will crease so you kind of need to get the lightness and brightness in the areas that you want and then blend into the skin but as I always say with concealer it's um, really nice to use it as a kind of a little whoop, lift your face by bringing that up slightly there but you really do have to push it into your skin push 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 you see it's just got this lovely soft radiance to it it doesn't dry it's a really nice consistency so it kind of keeps radiant let's go with the same brush just buff that in very softly creating that nice angular shape I think my face is a bit more angular after using the skin products I don't know maybe I do look a bit more angular I mean obviously it won't be like <laughs> like I've been vacuum packed <laughs> Um, and as I say, I haven't used it for 28 months, 28 months, 28 days. But if you do um, try out the brand, do let me know if you do suffer from a little bit of water retention or swelling in your face, it does make a difference. I will be fascinated to know because um, I like to try these things out myself. Then I would choose like various friends. I don't know, depending on what products I'm using, like someone's got oily skin or curly hair or whatever it is and give it to them and go, can you try this out? because what works for one doesn't necessarily work for us all right I love that I love the way it feels my skin feels really hydrated and um, the makeup sits well under the skincare as well which is another point I wanted to say that works so well okay let's chuck on a brow I'm just going to use the Kozas it's called brow warrior is it or brow on oh, brow pop quite love this color um and then I don't know how I'm going to start this makeup because I want to do this kind of like deep cherry lip with a bronze um bronzy skin and probably quite a dark eye which maybe is at lunchtime vibes but that's just how I'm feeling um <clears throat> and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out and I've got a few products that I want to give a go so let's just roll with me roll with me i'm just going to give myself a little bit of a stronger brow not as feathered as i normally have um, because i've got the darker lip coming <laughs> coming through um and i need to have a little bit of balance okay now let's go in with the bronzer so this is Phyto Touche. I haven't used any Sicily products for a long time and it's a Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. So again it's going to be great for a slightly oilier skin. I'm going to use my Beauty Pie, um, is it called the Colour Angled Cheek. Um, I just love this brush, I've got loads of them. I'm going to push it in. Oh look at that. Very nice. That is so sheer. It doesn't smell like in a good way. <laughs> now, can you see what I did there? Just another little tip. If you can sort of sing it to the other side of my face. I started on my cheek, leaving this area nice and light, and then went into my hairline. But rather than taking it along here, I took the brush underneath my jaw that helps my jaw with a little bit of definition but it also keeps this area light and if you had that area with the bronzer on you wouldn't get that nice shape you've got to be careful 
especially as we get older, that that line isn't too hard. Let's see if I put the bronzer a little higher, whether that's going to lift my face, because I think I need to put a little bit of concealer here. Do you see? So it's just making my face go a bit long. Let's just take it across the front of my face and see whether that's just a little bit better in terms of face shaping. It's actually quite nice because on the... Oh! Gosh, yeah, what a difference. See, in my mirror, I don't know why I'm whispering. In my mirror, it is really subtle, but it really, it's something to do with the camera lens. It really picks up on detail, which is something I should, oh dear, which is something I should know, right? Because I spend my life looking at monitors. And when you're doing someone's makeup, you do have to be really gentle because tones really do pick up. But, oh my God, look at the difference in that, right. Let's take that underneath there and down the front. Let's finish the job. But I definitely prefer it much higher, just across here. Okay, so what do we do in this situation? In this situation, it's very easy. We just knock that back, just a little bit of the colour. It's sort of this area, isn't it? Because I'm getting a bit loose in my jaw here, that kind of shape and I'm obviously being super critical but that's just what I do I just look at people's faces all the time so please don't don't go don't come at me um it just you can see the difference you can see it for yourself you can see it for yourself right let's just take that pigment off we'll go back with the lighter concealer just do a little swipe and then go back in with the I might just use a smaller brush so I'm going to go back in with my nose And then take that bronzer higher. So I'm going across the front of my face. Well, my tip to you today is, get a clean brush, um, do your makeup in your camera lens. <laughs> um, you'll be able to see how things register. I think it's just actually much more light sensitive than a, than a mirror. What do you think? It's so much better. Now I'm going to get really fussy though. Um, I need to sort of just put, add a bit more light at the top there. Very, very nice bronzer. It is, uh, look at that, really multi pigment. It's very subtle. There's no sparkles on my skin. That gives a very elegant bronze and a bit on my nose, obviously. Bit on the chin, and then maybe we'll do a little bit of a wedgie in my eye. That's something I've never said before. <laughs> my wedgie. That could be a new God. If I got myself on TikTok, I could do lots of eye wedgie TikToks. Lots of kind of like colourful sockets. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not on TikTok. Should I? Oh, I can't bear it. I just like my YouTube gang. You guys are so brilliant. Right, okay, good. Let's just soften up the hair a little bit because I'll probably take that down. Oh, right, we can relax. So, I think I'm going to do the lip next. So the lip again is by Cicely. It's 24 Sheer Peony. Now, I wanted to show you this because I looked at it and I didn't try it on. I thought, oh no, I must try this on because I haven't tried a Sicily lipstick in a long time. And once I tried it on, I was hooked. So you know a lot of the textures that I've been using recently are much matter. Not that they dry, but they're a drier finish and they stay put. Um, this I have just loved on my lips because it's just given me so much hydration. And I love the color because it's deeper than what I'd normally wear. Let's just get this on so you can have a bit of a visual whilst I'm talking. So it's much more of a kind of cherry red, uh, which is also greater if you've got warmer skin tones or darker hair. So I'm gonna put that, look at the shine on that. I'm gonna go in with a darker liner though. And I'm gonna give it a bit of graduation. So let's get the Liffy on. being sensitive to my top lip. 
rub 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 now before i do that i'm just going to grab the tissue first of all nice right god that really catches the light quite beautifully right taking the excess off i'm going to go in with this lovely rimmel lip liner uh, this is 790 it's a really lovely dark now don't have the fear guys it will all come together i'm sure i'm using the side of the lip pencil but you can see how it stained the wood how i've applied it before and i'm migrating the colors together Perfect. Great. Now, because I blotted the lips, because it's a hydrating lipstick, it allowed me to get the liner on without too much movement. Because if you put a liner on to quite a hydrating lipstick or a glossy balmy lipstick, it just moves about and the color doesn't have an area to really place itself on so that blotting tip really makes a difference put your chin back using the side it will really help you get the best lip shape and I can't recommend these um oh I love her Mm -mm. didn't see that coming did you that's probably my best application of this as well <laughs> oh now i'm in a quandary because i've got some really nice eye products to show you and i quite like it like this even with my hair up just nice and simple i really like that so yeah so, and it's also a nice combination of kind of a luxe makeup and affordable great makeup the, um, they're called Lasting Finish Lip Crayons by Rimmel. They've got really great shades. Oh, this is my new favourite colour. Loving it, loving it. And a really cute little lip imprint there. Okay, so what I had on my eyes, I was going to do like a ready Tilbury to kind of match. And, oh yes, I wanted to show you these. Um, Mina, this is the Spanish brand. They've got great coloured mascaras. Maybe should I do blue mascara next week? Should I, should I try and convince you how to wear blue mascara? I did it the other day when I went out to see my mate, I quite liked it. This is the brown and it's all done by numbers. Five, seven, five this one is and this is so lovely. But I'm in a quandary. What shall I do? Because I actually quite like it. Oh, what do you say? I was going to do a bit of violet. Maybe for lunch, I'm going to keep it softer. So what I'm going to do is Okay, let's use for this. I'm gonna use a little bit of this from Kiko. This is their new brand that I got the other day. It's like a new collection of products. This is 03. And then we'll go in with the brown. Let's just see what happens. Uh, I wanna keep it, cause I just think it's a bit cooler, lighter like this. No, this will work. And you see what I mean? If I went in with a dark eye, like if I had dark hair and it was dark evening, dark evening? I mean, you do have light evenings. You do have light evenings <gasps> right now. <laughs> um, then you'd probably get, get away with a little bit more. Um, but I am going out for lunch. So maybe that was a bit, a bit, um, a positive thinking on my part. I'd be able to pull it off in the way that I wanted. Of course you can wear what the heck you want. Right, let's use another et al brush. Look, it's nice, isn't it? I've worn this quite a lot this week, hence why I'm not like going, ooh, how lovely. Um, it's been a really lovely colour to wear to work because at work I keep my makeup really simple um, with just a little bit of something because um, it's just not really about me, it's about my clients. Oh, I love this. Uh, it feels slightly cool on application and it doesn't, it gives a little bit of creasing. There's a little bit of creasing. Um... Cool. 
great, very nice. Let's do a little bit of smudgy brown. Now I've got the violet one here. Let me just see if I can just blend this in maybe, rather than going in dark. Yeah, look at this. And this is amazing, these um, eye paints. Look, so we've gone over there, get the tip of your brush before it dries and then just get that socket in. Yeah, and then hold your horses, Caroline, because you're going to look too painted dull otherwise. And what I should have done is maybe done that afterwards and flipped it round. Let's just do a little bit on the outside. But what's lovely is hopefully you can see that you can play with like creamy products and metallic products and they all blend in. You know, it's all a painting, isn't it? Um, the thing is to have a nice base to start with. Not bad. Not bad. I need to blend that right out though because it will look a bit dated if it's hard. So it just needs to be super soft. See, it dries so quickly, it's great. God, new and improved. Right, let's go with the brown mascara. I was gonna do this top and bottom. Um, it's got an interesting brush. Um, this brush, so it's a bit, it's got the nice rivets that I like. Sorry, it's got the nice channels that I like. And then a twisted um, bristle. Um, but look how effective it is. So I find this brand sort of slightly underrated. I think people get confused on how to pronounce it. Yeah, I'm just going to go top. Oh, I don't often wear a brown mascara. But this is not red. And it's not too wishy-washy. And you get a lot of mascara on, so you get the definition. Oh, I'm loving this look. That's enough. And press pause and press stop, actually. What do we think? Do we think hair up, hair down? What's your, I think probably hair up. It's a bit scraggy, isn't it? You could do with a wash. Well, then my hair's actually better if it's not too clean, so it just goes into a fuzzball. Everyone else have fuzzball hair? Yeah, of course you do, we all do. Especially ones that love a bit of bleach. Anyway, I'm, Hopefully not boring the pants off you. Oh, forgive me. I've done a very similar look to last week, apart from the lip and the bronze, obviously. I've got to change it up. I can't be repetitive, Rita. Sorry, Rita, there's only Rita. Repetitive Rebecca, whoever I am. I'm Caroline, car crash Caroline. Um, I'm gonna change my eyes slightly and show you how to adapt it. Right, I'm going in with Bobby Brown Bark. Um, this is a classic. Um, Bobby obviously came out with a, well, you know, pretty much the first sort of long wear cream eyeshadows and because we've done a nice mix of cream eyeshadows and you know how much I love cream eyeshadows and hopefully I'm pulling out the best cream eyeshadows for you um, in the market. Now my adrenaline's buzzing, I'm like blah, 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 blah. Um, People often say I can't keep the um, colour in my waterline. Um, it, the coal doesn't transfer from my pencil. This is the best way to do that. So use a long wear eyeshadow, take the nib up quite high and pull, it, pull your lid down, obviously, and you can see how much easier and quicker that transfers into the eye. Um, and for some reason, uh, it's obviously just like a different consistency to, to coal. It does seem to last longer and it kind of embeds in the um, base of the lashes as well to kind of give you that definition. So I wanted to change this look up and make it just a little bit different so that almost it helps you kind of transfer your look from day to night. You're kind of getting a two for one now. Woohoo! Now I've realised I've messed up, I feel awful. Um, the thing is, what I've just done now is so little, but you can see how dramatically different it looks. But what you've got to be careful of is that if you do that and you've just got the mascara on the top lashes only, 
you don't you make your eye look a bit smaller now that's fine if that's what you want to do and maybe you have big eyes that you want to shrink but if you've got hooded eyes or small eyes that's what you should avoid and all you do to change that is do like a little secret smudge of brown underneath or you just take your mascara and you put it on the lower lashes and drag especially those center ones down 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 and that will give a bigger effect of the eye either side yeah I'll probably just comb those through as well um, but just adding that nice soft shadow so again having a very deep dark matte don't use metallic I don't think it's as pretty if you're going to put something in the waterline make it dense and dark because it really does sort of frame the shape of your eye without reading like makeup too much and it does tend to last um, I could go a little bit more and add a little bit of dark into the socket here and bring the eye out but I'm not going to because the lipstick is quite dark but I just thought that that would be a nice little trick to kind of change the vibe and to change the look um, and hopefully that you got to stay with me until the end of the video you didn't kind of click off and like out of boredom like yeah 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 I did this last week Caroline um, and you got a bit of an extra bobby bonus um, tip um, and God knows why I'm saying everyone's names, but um, yeah, keep them going and the, keep them going in the comments. Just, just have um, an alliteration name off. All right, bye for now. Have a good week.